not much light. Goodbye, Hurunui. I think that's our room with the light on. Morning of day four, heading into Christchurch. It was an easier and quicker start with no tent to pack down, less to pack up, and a proper kitchen with table and chairs to make breakfast from. were another dozen or so riders who had stayed at the Hurunui Hotel, so it was inevitable we would either catch, or more likely, be caught by them. When we did, it was a fast moving peloton that came together and largely stuck together through the ambulance. I'm always thankful for something, don't take for granted, stay humble. Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy! Look in the mirror if he is no friend of me! These GRX changes are starting to annoy me. They're usually fine, but just that little edge when I'm pushing to get to an easier gear hurts. That was a descent. 60k smooth gravel in from there somewhere. Sweet! Alistair would love this section. Say hi to Andrew. Hi Andrew! All of New Zealand learn from this. Can easily be made into a nice cycle path. It does feel a little bit like rain, doesn't it? Wonder if we'll make it. Well, we'll make it when we make it dry. Hope the rain holds out. How good is this? We've ridden roads in worse condition than this cycleway. Head of schedule by a long shot. Not that I had a real schedule. The rain held off and the pace was rather high with flat roads and a light tailwind. We rode into Christchurch and straight on into Cathedral Square which was another photo control point. A little different to when I lived here. Then we continued on the route out of town before separating and making our way to family for the night. Sean and Michelle. Eight and a half K off track, but there he is. Sean's waiting. <laughs> Day four done.